I think it all starts with credibility. Credibility on the ingredients and credibility what we do, how we source and how we communicate to the consumer. Um, we have seen, especially in this year, 2008, um, a whole new development and impetus on the whole issue of standards, trying to make it clear what is natural, what is organic, what is not, what it makes it easier for the consumer to understand what they're buying. Um, that in itself, if now implemented over the next couple of months, more and more, will make it much easier for the consumer to actually understand on the shelf what is natural, what is organic, what is not. And in that way makes it also easier for retailers to decide which products to bring on. Now on the issue of accessibility, what we've seen over the last couple of years and, and, and more recently also in the next last, last uh, probably 18 months is an in, uh, increased interest by huge retailers in the United States to incorporate whole natural sets. Um, and that is um, probably the biggest source of accessibility for consumers to get these products. Excellent. How are consumers reacting to sometimes having to pay a premium for natural or organic products? Well, that's a good question. Um, this is, I guess it is the same question with how do consumers act if you ask them to pay more for an organic piece of meat or organic potato versus a conventional one. Once consumers understand the benefits of natural or organic products, be it agricultural products, vegetables, meat, dairy products, whatever, um, they understand the benefit what it does to their health. You know, and once they understand that, they will also understand that the skin is the biggest organ that we have. So anything that you put on your skin will get taken in by your body, um, not actually to the digestive system, but even worse, it gets directly into the, the bloodstream once it penetrates the skin. And once you understand that, I think everyone understands that you cannot expect to pay um, for higher quality ingredients uh, the same price and you pay for lower quality ingredients. It takes much more to source organic ingredients. There's much more time involved with these things. Um, it really requires a paradigm shift in the way consumers think uh, and to be prepared to pay more for good quality. I mean, we have seen over the last decades how people more and more uh, use their, their, their um, their available income on things like entertainment, on leisure activities, and the percentage that is spent in food until very recently uh, has been decreasing. And I think if people understand again that health starts with what you eat and health starts what you put into your body or onto your body, and um, people will understand that this is, this is something where they might have to pay a bit more in order not to pay more in the long term in health costs and, and uh, health insurances. Certifying ingredients is um, has a whole list of issues. I mean, first of all, you have to, um, it, it's, first of all, it's a long-term issue. You have to find the right partners. You have to find the, the farmers, the uh, communities that can actually plant these things for you. Then you have to very often train them on the difference between conventional and organic. That's why Willita has um, spent so many um, decades now in, in, in investing into biodynamic and organic agriculture. Um, with different communities, from the Andes to India to various communities in Europe, North, uh, North America as well, and Africa. Um, because it's not something that you can start from one day to another. If you actually conceive a product and uh, with a certain ingredients that might exist or might not exist, you already have to anticipate how much are you going to sell of that product. And you then have to go back to these communities and say, well, how much can we produce here? How can we teach you to produce these things organically and then get them certified? So it's a huge educational aspect. Uh, and it really shows also why our industry compared to generally the conventional industry is such a vertically integrated industry because we have to really, as we always say uh, in our slogan, it's cultivating beauty. You know, the, the whole aspect of cosmetics for us, our personal care, starts with the actual plants, starts with the earth. And that's where your whole certification issue starts. Um, the standards are there, organic standards. They are there in the European community, they are there in Japan, they are there in North, uh, North America. You just have to basically do it. Um, there is no real challenge apart from um, getting the raw materials. And that, you know, sometimes a process that takes very, several years.